we had a rather interesting discussion in the coffee house here at the apartment complex today. Uh, it's been one year now that I've lived here in North Carolina. And one of my friends down here was curious to why I moved everything down in my own car, which took me five trips, as opposed to running a U-Haul and taking everything in one trip. Well, what I've decided to do is put that in a video so what he couldn't understand, maybe some of you guys would. Let's examine both ends of it. Moving myself down in my car. It took me five trips to get everything down here. Now, my move was approximately 550 miles. There are no tolls. And the cost of gas was about a dollar cheaper than it is now. So my entire cost for the move was my gasoline and whatever I ate for lunch. I spent about $450 to make the entire move. $450. What I would do was I would pack up everything up there on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, I would make the drive down here to North Carolina. And then I would use Friday and Saturday to unload everything out of my car and set it up in the apartment the way I wanted it. That's a lot better than having boxes sitting all over the floor. Sunday was church day. I would be in church down here pretty much the entire day Sunday. And then Monday morning, I would hop in my car, and I would drive north again. And the whole process would start again. Tuesday and Wednesday, I would pack up everything up there, go to church Wednesday night up there. Everything would be packed up over those two days, and then Thursday, I'd be back on my way down here again. And this continued for five weeks. The trips I made down here were on the 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th of September. And in all the consequential Mondays, there were four of them, I headed back up north. That was the only cost I had to move everything down. Now, let's examine if I had rented a U-Haul. Uh, we use the cheap price on the U-Haul, $20 a day. Now, it would probably take me at least two days to fill the U-Haul. This all depends on how many friends you can get over to help you out. And I have friends helping me out, but they can only do it on their own timetable, not mine. I had my own timetable because I'm signed to a lease. I had to be out by a certain point. My lease is also overlapped. The lease up in Delaware ended on September 30th, and the lease down here began on September 2nd. So I had 28 days to move. But let's go back to the part about the truck again. It would take me two days to load the truck, and then down here, it would probably take me two days to unload the truck. Down here, at the point of being new, I didn't know anybody, so I'd be unloading it all by myself. And then I would have boxes all over the floor, which kind of makes it hard to move around. Also, with a U-Haul, 
you have to pay insurance on them. Uh, that could have cost me $50, uh, along with a 1995 per day. So we're talking two days loading, two days unloading, and one day for the drive. That's five days. So that's 100 bucks. And then along with the $50 for the insurance, now i got a 150 invested already. And then you pay a per mile charge on a U-Haul. That ranges anywhere from 57 cents to 79 cents, depending on the size of the U-Haul. My U-Haul probably would have been closer to the 79 because I probably would have needed a bigger one. But let's say it all fit in a small one. That's still 57 cents per mile. Multiply that times 550 miles. Because that's how far it is from Wilmington, Delaware, down there in North Carolina. And then the gas. The gas that I was putting in my gas tank and my car, I'd get anywhere from 28 to 35 miles to the gallon. The U-Haul, even though I'd be making one trip, I might get 10 miles to the gallon if I'm lucky. And then another question would have to be arisen. Do I attach my car to the back of the U-Haul? Or do I drive the U-Haul back up north and then pick up my car? So that's more gas money. And then if it's a big U-Haul, that'll definitely do it all in one trip. Do I need a CDL license? And if I don't, with my 450 pound frame, am I able to climb up into the U-Haul? Not that easy for a big guy to climb into the U-Haul. It's like climbing into a tractor trailer. And then I gotta get stuff in and out of the back of the U-Haul. Remember down here, I'd be brand new, really don't have anybody to help me. So you see where this is going? So what it cost me was 415 gas in my own car and the overlapping of the two rents. And the rent here is about one half of what I paid up there. So it would be like paying one and one half times rent the very last month. I was up there because the last month of there was actually the first month down here. So I may have invested $700 into the entire trip. Well, at $0.57 cents a mile for the U-Haul truck, there's $1,000 right there. And I'd be up against the clock to get the U-Haul unloaded, and then back. And then i got to worry about drop-off charges, too. If I take it up in Delaware and I drop it off in North Carolina, do they charge me to take the U-Haul back to Delaware? Or at 10 miles a gallon, maybe I'm driving the U-Haul back to Delaware to pick up my own car. Now, if I'm picking up my own car, where do I sleep when I get back there? I'd probably have to sleep in my car or get a hotel. That's another expense. That's why I brought everything down my car. It just worked. 